In this video, I am going to show you how easy it is to manage a Verde environment. The administrator can control the entire Verde system from a single graphical interface, the Verde console. Once logged in, the administrator lands on the organization's page. Whether you are an MSP hosting multiple customers or a large organization with multiple departments or divisions, you can benefit from the Verde multi-tenant feature. The Verde console interface is organized in three sections the dashboard, configuration, and reporting. The dashboard provides a snapshot of the Verde environment, where the administrator can quickly get a status of the system, like the server's utilization, the number of running desktops, the amount of used memory, or the status of each server. The configuration section is where administrators would initially spend most of their time setting up the Verde system. One of the key areas of the configuration screen is the Gold Images page. This is where the creation and management of Gold Images is handled. Existing Gold Images will then be deployed to users or group of users using desktop policy rules. Session settings are used to set the parameters of each virtual desktop, like the amount of virtual RAM, the size of the user data space, the type of network, the USB redirection, or the type of protocol. The Application Layers page will help the administrator limit the number of goal images under management by leveraging virtualized applications. Here is where they can be easily imported and managed from. The Configuration page also allows to manage local users, set administrator roles, as well as system-wide parameters like licenses and LDAP connectors. And finally, the Verde console offers built-in reporting functionality. An administrator is able to quickly view into the status of the data center or cloud branch servers, take the servers offline if needed, monitor the user's live sessions, network addresses, type of desktop, protocol used, the status of each desktop, and check the Verde system messages and events, as well as the virtual desktop usage. And this concludes our quick tour of the Verde console. Thank you for your attention.